It's Friday and they're talking about ships, right? Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubavar. Today, the 3rd of December, there was an hour-long Star Citizen Live all about ships. Here's what you need to know. The show had pretty much everyone who had anything to do with ships on it. Ben Curtis, Mark Gibson, John Crew, Chris McCoy, and Yogi Klatt. The IAE is over and Jared wanted to do a full reset by offering us some FaceTime with the ones that developed ships. John said they don't have anything to do with making AI crew work in ships. Mark said they have nothing to do with concept art. Ben said they have nothing to do with fixing ship bugs. And then Jared reminded us that not all questions would be appropriate for the members of this panel and then we moved on. John spoke for about five minutes about how they decide what ship to work on in what order. He said that they always want to push ships that will add something to the PU experience, but many of those also require work to be done in various subsections. So, releasing a ship without the required gameplay is always contrary to the desired intent. The raft is a good example that was supposed to be released with the ability to drop entire containers. However, the back end required for that didn't make it in time. Then we started with some questions. Mark confirmed that the interior rework for the 600i is underway. Numerous adjustments, including a medical bay, individual crew quarters, but both variants will have slightly different features. There will be a larger vehicle capability on the exploration and the touring will have a higher level trim. Gucci. The cargo area has been adjusted and it sounds awesome that this ship in particular is getting some love. The mole will have its detachable bags and they confirm that this is currently being worked on. So you mine, collect, and then drop the bags off to be refined. The Starfarer is also getting some work as was shown yesterday. Additional refining mechanics in the form of some adjustments to take refined fuel containers from other sources. John also confirmed that the interior layout is a bit of a mess, but after the mechanical fixes are added, the interior will get an adjustment, but not for 316 and also unlikely for 317. They spoke about the gold standard. Eric said that this had mainly to do with bringing old models up to what's needed for the current mechanics, including adding closets, increasing the size of corridors, adding components, adding airlocks, adjusting where the cargo is, and some exterior adjustments as needed. They didn't specifically say that gold would be the highest. More cargo will eventually change the flight characteristics because of, you know, the extra mass. Ammo count for ballistics will go up slightly, but they have balance concerns. The raft physically seems to have more space for additional containers, but for balance, they decided upon three, which also added a safe spacing between the containers. Mark said that he was excited about the idea of adding the modules for the Carrick, but there are too many supporting tech items that need to be done first. Physicalized damage was next and John said that that was more to do with the physics team, but John did confirm that this past week they were testing the strength based damage versus a hit point pool damage. He did say that all of this was in the initial testing phase. AI blades are part of automation and John said that they're part of a long-term roadmap which needs the computer items to be made first and then adding the code to modify the vehicle systems. Jared said in 2016 there was a hex code video for the paint and skin customization. Paints are being sold and John said that the distant plan will be to achieve this hex code idea but how to implement it without undermining the sold ship skins seemed to be a big problem. So how to make a new system without ruining the old one that's making money. They confirmed that racing isn't dead. We have the new bomb and missile operator modes. Yogi really likes the idea of splitting them even further in the future to include EMP, salvage, or whatever else is needed. The Carrick Blast Shield? Soon, maybe? Windshield wipers? No. Dedicated binding for gear, wing, and VTOL mode? Yes, this is possible. Parachutes for punching out in Atmo, they want to, but it's not being worked on. The Polaris interior is done. The basic loadout has been adjusted slightly, but they're going to save all of that information for a later release. And then the stream ended. And that's it. A very interesting show with lots of information. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. If you enjoy these breakdowns, please consider subscribing so I can help keep you up to date. Please consider sharing the channel with a friend or orgmate as that really helps me a lot. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.